and we're live a couple minutes late how are you guys um is it wednesday or sunday today is wednesday all right wednesday the 29th of july crazy times that means august is coming up um how are you i hope you've had a great first part of your week hope for an even better second part of your week guys we are going to put some clear wax on this and i've got a big surprise for you guys okay we got a big surprise um matthew yep do you know what our surprise is yeah hi guys hi lolly lolly i'm so glad you're here guys thank you so much instagram this piece we are giving away to one of the six finalists you hear me six hi heather thanks for being here um hi 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 i see all of you we are streaming on instagram and Facebook and YouTube. So we have completely finished this piece. I'll back up and let you get a better look. This was a redo of the redo, and this is a piece that I am um, fin refinishing for someone and giving it a whole new look. And then Matt and I are gifting it and trying to pay it forward to somebody. We. We are giving it away to somebody that's so, so incredibly deserving. Hi, Callie. Um, hi, Lauren. And hi, Polly. And hi, Derek. Thank you so much, Betty. And everybody's here. And so um, I have the biggest surprise that I want to tell you all is we aren't just doing three finalists. We had to pick six. Um, hi, Mar Marlis. So um, that's, you know, why the other night. We, the why, other, are, why are we doing six? Because the other night... I looked at you and said, can we give away, can we pick more people? Can we give away more prizes? And I said. And you said, yeah, we can give away as many prizes as you want to. That's not what I said. I said. You did it? Sure. Oh. He said, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so we narrowed it down to six finalists, um, one of which will receive this. You guys are the ones that get to vote. So right now at this point, um, Heather Watson is here to help me. Michelle is on a little mini vacation with the family. And so Heather will post the link that you need to vote. It also came in your inbox about 30 minutes ago if you're on my mailing list. Um, but it's up for all of you to vote. I'm going to read the finalists, uh, their names, who nominated them, and a little bit about them. And then um, also, if you got it in the email, you can click it there. You can click it here. Hopefully we, hopefully we get, hopefully we get back on there, you guys. Are we all right? Are we up and running, babe? Yeah. Sorry, I got a random phone call. Everybody, thanks for being here. I'm so thrilled you're here. We're gonna put some wax on, and this is just a clear wax, guys. This is just DIY. It's a clear wax. It's my favorite wax. It's like butter, butter. All right. So. Um, so when you when you wax on, do you ever wax off? <laughs> Why? Have you been saving that one? I have been saving that for so long. Have you been saving that? I one? have, and you open the door, and I walk through it. <laughs> you just like jumped in with a leap. Um, so what we do, Matthew, is when we put wax on, we let it dry. About 24 hours, I will come back in and buff it and so i guess you could say i'm waxing i'm waxing off when i'm using my buffer <laughs> what that's funny because you took what i said and ran with it well i guess i'm just trying to go along with it <laughs> uh, laura, laura, laura on uh, youtube says my husband says that all the time wax on wax off it's a classic movie it's a classic line Totally, totally classic. Um, so something else I just want to say is uh, today for the um, the Iris Journal, the, the Turquoise Iris Journal magazine, we did some photos here today and we were uh, taking pictures. I had a professional come and take pictures of my artwork and my furniture and a little of me. And I had a couple of beautiful models here today. And so it's been really fun, but it was really busy and hot and i think we literally worked on that photo shoot for six hours it was and we even had helpers like like matt 
Was it fun, Matt? It was so much fun. <laughs> he actually, she made him get in some of the pictures. She made him take pictures with me. It's not that he doesn't want to take a picture with me, but he's never been a good, you know, like a big fan of photos. I mean, I know, but see, here's the deal. Guys typically, typically, not all, just don't like taking pictures. But why? Because, because we have to look at ourselves and go, wow, that's what I look like? Oh, that's a great thing. What do you mean? Well. As in, you're always so proud of yourself for the way you look. What that's you all, it's all, it's all in that. <laughs> so she made him come get in the pictures, which was pretty good. Guys, I'm going to read these nominees here in just one second. And we got Marlis is in the house tonight. Yep, yep. She said we were her favorite couple. Um, we will... Open up the voting. It's live right now for the six finalists. And one of them will receive this piece. Shipping has been paid for 100%. And it's all good. Um, we're ready. To, we're sorry, ready I was to looking go. at this and just thinking how pretty this was. No, we're ready. I got go. distracted. It is. Uh, yeah, we just need to find somebody who, who wants it. And you somebody guys get to vote. It. And it'll go to and all, a nice home. All other five nominees will also receive something from us. We will put a, a prize package, something together. So every finalist will actually receive something. You guys just knock it out of the park when you... You know, you know, you know some good people, and the the best also thing is, some of you nominate people you've never met, and it's so heartwarming. That just it's we, just so moving. We have a question from uh, Deborah Annie Clark to Jacobs. Why do you use wax as opposed to a harder clear coat that you paint on? Um, I use products from DIY Paint. Um, I like our wax. It is extremely durable, and um, buffing it tomorrow after 24 hours will protect this piece. So I don't have any reason to not use anything but this wax. I love wax. I love putting it on. I love the texture that it gives. I love the finish that it gives. And, um, well, it's done. Like, I've got it on there, and it's done. So I just love it. Um, I to ask Jasmine how her live went. Jasmine's live. Was it today? Yesterday? It was Monday, I believe. Jasmine, how was your live? Tell everybody. You love water lily and the flowers. So we ended up naming this piece together, Bohemian Dreams. And that was named by? I don't remember. Jasmine, I thought. Oh, did Jasmine do it too? Yeah. I don't even remember. I thought she was the one who named it. Uh, you're right. I think it was Jasmine Smith. I think you're right. We did the same thing in my group, in the Creative Connection. We They helped me name a piece. And so it all starts running together, Matt. I understand. Yeah, it starts running together. So uh, It's Janet from Another Planet says those doorknobs are popping. Hey, girl. I put some copper on them. And then this side, I've already done the other side. I've already done the top. So once this is done, this piece is completed. Uh, guys, if you need the link to vote for... Um, who you would love to receive this piece. Heather Watson is on here helping me tonight. She's going to post that link for you. Kathy Wallace. I hope I say that right. You Can you add color to the wax? Yes, 100%. You can, I do that all the time. You can take clear wax and you can put any kind of color that you want to. Um, I used to do, before we got the verdigris color, um, I used to add like Old 57 and make kind of a turquoise wax. We also have brown, black, and white, and I use all of those and love them very much. I've also added Golden Ticket, which is our, our gold, to the clear wax. So there's many options. Uh, Kathy Cooper, does the wax loosen when the sun hits it? Do you need to reapply? Um... I would say that not to ever really put any painted piece in direct sunlight. And the reason for that is anything with color in the direct sunlight is going to fade. It doesn't matter if it's your chair, your carpet, your couch, 
furniture, it will all fade. So never put it in direct sunlight. Um, it will not soften just by being in your home and in room temperature. Nope. Um, okay, that's good, that's good. Jasmine, how did it go? I know you probably already said that. She said, yeah, I'll read it. Okay. Um, let me see here, I found it. She wrote, uh, it went great. Beth is so awesome. I was super nervous at first, but it went well and starting a new series in August. Well, fantastic. Woo! Beth is so good. She is the sweetest person. I love having her as a DIY retailer, too. All right. So we have clear wax on this, babe. Let me read you the fantastic six finalists. So hard to narrow down. It's always so hard every time. It's almost just like a you just got to draw the shorter stick or something, or the longer stick. I don't know what to do. It's so hard to choose. Um, Lisa Nixon, how will the wax do on a covered screen in porch? As long as it's not direct sunlight, I would say it would be just fine. You got to just buff it, and it creates that really hard, durable surface. Um, very protective. Lisa, does it get hot? Um, if it's, I mean, it's, if it's outside, and I guess, I don't know what temperatures you have there. Um, uh, Big Top works really great also for things that are going to be outside. Um, Cobwebs and Bristles, thank you for posting that link also um, on, on the tubes. We got uh, Kathy Anderson in the house. Good Hi, day. Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Good day. Good day. Good day. I would love to read these to you now. Um, these are the six people that we've narrowed it down to. Um, Instagram, if you're new here, I just want to say thanks for hanging out. Uh, normally, I paint on here, but we're actually giving this piece away. And so we are reading our six finalists um, tonight. And I haven't, has anybody ever scratched a mosquito so much that it bleeds on you? A mosquito or a mosquito bite? A mosquito bite. Ah, I need to leave that alone. But I was talking to you guys and didn't think about it. <laughs> but you did receive uh, a wrist bracelet mm -hmm. bug. I did, but this thing. was beforehand. And this was also when I walked outside this morning. Um, I walked outside this morning to talk to Elijah. Um, ah, it's perfect. Thank you, Heather Watson. Yeah. Yes, you guys, thank you for working together as a team for me to post the links for everybody to be able to vote. I so appreciate you, um, uh, you guys. Um, okay, so, so the are, first. Are these our nominations? These are our finalists, baby. Finalists. We had 88 okay. nominations right. for this piece. Um, yes, girl, I've got some in there, Barbara. Um, thank you. We had 88 nominations, so we had to narrow it down. And then instead of doing three, I did six this time. I'm going to send prizes to all, um, all five of the people who do not win this piece. But I just want to say thank you. I'm sure that that angry face, that mad face, was an accident by whoever's finger kind of swiped. Um, it happens, I see. It happens. Okay. So, um, hi, Aaron. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Yumiko. How are you guys? Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, um, Ms. Cobweb. I appreciate you helping Heather out and helping me out. Okay, I'm going to read. Thank you. You just voted. Yes. All right. So this first finalist came from Mr. Rob Gloria, who's on here all the time, voted for his wife, Angela. My wife, Angela, we together have been watching Dion and Matt for a few years, and we just love Dion's artwork. My wife is very deserving of a treasured piece like this because she's an inspiration to me and her family. She totally gives 110% to everything she does, and I love her for that. I personally wish I could afford a piece like this to give my wife. Thank you, Dion, for sharing your quality family time with us on Facebook Lives, and we hope to meet you one day. Rob, we just want to thank you for being a part of this group and hanging out here um, with us on a regular basis. And so um, thank you for nominating your lovely wife, Angela. I look forward to meeting you guys too. So uh, finalist number two, Heather Watson nominated Erin Shearer. And um, we have chosen her as a finalist as well. Um, I'm going to condense this a little bit. Erin's um, resiliency is an inspiration. 
Her story picks up for me in March of 2019 when she had a house fire that took absolutely everything from her. Thank God her family was all safe, even her animals. She told that story and my heart broke for her. That soon followed up with her saving a drowned boy from a swimming pool. I know her story through you, Dion. Without this community, your community, we wouldn't be here. Supporting her journey and rooting her on. You did this, said Heather. This makeup artist, canvas artist, jewelry maker, farmer, mom and wife, who has moved 38 times in her 46 years, and who has the tenacity to not only survive, but thrive, surely deserves this gift and this community can provide it. You rock, Erin. Go be awesome. And thank you for doing this, Dion. I see your tears, Erin. I'm glad you're on here, sister. Um, Anita Hewitt has nominated Misty Johnson. She's our third finalist to receive this piece. You guys are voting. All you have to do is click, go read through, and click. It's super hard. I know it's okay. hard. It's, not it's hard so to hard vote. to pick. It's, just hard to it's pick. not hard to vote, but it is so hard to narrow it down from 88 to 6 and then let you guys do the voting. Um, so Anita nominated Misty. Misty's six-year-old son, Tucker. Whew, this is the one that gets me. <clears throat> died. Six-year-old son died in 2011 after a freak accident. Misty and her husband, Brian, were devastated. They started R-A-K-4-T. It stands for Random Acts of Kindness for Tucker. She designs t-shirts that promotes kindness several times a year and sells them. All the money is given away to people in need. T-shirts have been sold to someone in every state and even Afghanistan. Misty works tirelessly to spread kindness please go to R-A-K-4-T on Facebook and like that page. <clears throat> Anita, thank you for nominating Misty Johnson. She's our third finalist. Okay, I got my sheets messed up out of order. <clears throat> our fourth finalist is coming from Cheryl. Atkinson nominating Christy Motes. Christy is Cheryl's daughter. She is battling stage four cancer and has just finished her 10th chemo round. Her cancer is very aggressive, but we are holding on to hope. She has two babes. Two babes. Uh, Isla is six and Walker is one. And my daughter is a very strong woman, but she received news that she may not be a candidate for hot chemo treatment because her cancer is very aggressive. I think anything you paint would cheer her up. And you can't help look at it and feel happy. I just want her to be happy. Cheryl Atkinson, thank you for nominating your daughter, Christy. Um, our next one. Our fifth was nominated two times, all right? Uh, she had two different nominations from two different people. And, oh, everybody is deserving. That's the problem. Every All 88 people that were nominated are deserving of this. Um, so this particular person is Kim Bell, and she was nominated twice. So I'm going to read the one from Janet Perez, okay? Kim is a rising star who works hard to support her son and her husband. During this abnormal new normal, Kim has watched her primary livelihood, a dentist office, close down, her small space in a local store close down, and sales slump. Yet, she is always there to help and support her friends and colleagues with a smile on her face. We have struggled during these strange times. But Kim is one of the few who has kept a positive outlook in spite of her own personal challenges. The other person nominated her as well um, for two totally different, like, you know, totally said something different. Uh, but that's Kim Bell nominated two times, you guys. Our last sixth finalist.
Uh, Janet is Janet from another planet. She has a question. Um, she has voted, but she wants to know if she can go vote a couple more times. <laughs> I don't know how that works. I guess you have <laughs> I don't to think use, so. use a different email, I guess, would be how it would work, you guys. Um, if you are just popping on Instagram, we are reading the finalists and their stories uh, to see who's going to receive this piece of furniture right here. Uh, I see you, Janet. Thank you for your nomination. I see you, Cheryl. Thank you for nominating your daughter. Jasmine Smith, I'm reading your nomination, sister. Uh, Jasmine Smith has nominated her mother, uh, her sister, excuse me. Um, I read the word that she's a mother, I'm sorry. Um, Jasmine Smith nominated Ashley Baker, her sister. She is a hospice nurse, a mother and the best sister. She is selfless and has helped our family make sense of the care we've been providing our, for our 100-year-old Graham. We would be lost without her as, she has as we have navigated these past four years, 24-7 care and medical decision-making with the love of a granddaughter. COVID-19 has been especially hard on Ashley as she is in the homes of these people in the process of dying daily, caring for the most vulnerable despite her own anxiety. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome and I get to know you. I don't mean I don't get to know know you, but I get to know you. Um, and that's just gonna be the best that it can be for now. One of these days maybe, right? We'll, all of us will know, all, <laughs> totally impractical, but still. Um, now it's in your hands. We narrowed it down to those six. Everybody was deserving. Thank you for participating in this. I just want to keep this going throughout COVID or throughout the summer or I don't know. I don't have a plan at all. Um, we just love being able to do this and pay it forward and um, hashtag spread love. So this, I think it's beautiful, cabinet, Bohemian Dreams will go to one of those six people. Lolly says she can't see to type. Tell me about it. I read all 88 of them this time. And before that, there was 147. And before that, there was almost 190 nominations. Um, so pretty outstanding, pretty amazing. Um, Eve, I'll be honest with you. I was nominated once. Matt was nominated once. <laughs> um, you know, what's, what's interesting is some of the people that are nominating people were nominees and finalists in the last time or in the time before. So it's really beautiful the way you guys are paying it forward. And thank you for doing this on our page. And thank you for including us in your generosity. Um, I guess that's it. You know, I, I didn't have much to do on this piece. We just had to put clear wax. And you did some nice flowers on it and added yeah. some layers to it. Mm. Well, we put the... We put the we put the cowgirl wash over it because this piece was pretty bold and bright originally. So we put the cowgirl wash and then we sprayed it and let some of these these flowers that you see were actually here originally. I just kind of covered them up a little bit. The blue and the white, um, those are our new ones. And then all of this green is new that was not here beforehand. We added this um, cherry picked color to the edges. We put the gold or bronze copper, excuse me, we put the copper here on the hardware and then we actually wrapped it, which originally I had stopped the flowers. So now we have it wrapped around the side and then I used my oil pastels over the whole piece. So you were able to really see that texture and all the different colors come through. So lots of hard work on this piece. It's been painted twice and it goes to one of you. You guys are amazing. Um, thank give you. Them, give them a couple of close-ups real quick. Okay. I sure will. Hold on, Instagram. And then there's one question before we get off. Okay. Let me come in closer for you guys. The links are here for you to go vote. Um, I believe voting will continue until Sunday when I make the announcement for the winner. So please, please, please join us Sunday, 830 Central Time, and we will announce the winner for this piece. Shipping has been um, generously donated to those of you on Facebook and YouTube, we collected a total of $200. That should cover the, the shipping for this, depending on how far it goes. You guys are outstanding. Um, you see how you have all of this texture 
mostly that is from the oil pastels. And I'm going to show you guys over the next few weeks more about that and something that I've learned that I'm excited to share with you about getting that same look, maybe using a little bit different product. What's that? Is something in your eye? Hint, hint. Just a drop of a hint to something. I'm going to bring Instagram in closer too. Hang on. There are five folks hanging out on the grams. We got we got some folks on the grams. Yeah, we have five people wondering why on, I'm not there on the IG. Yeah. They're kicking it on the IG, are they? Yeah, they are. Kicking it. You just sounded 43. I am 42. Haha, <laughs> you're almost 43. All right, Instagram. Um, I just wanted to show you like this texture that we have. Anyway, my goal, if you're new here, has always been to create pieces. Thank you for the hearts. I don't know who's throwing them out, but I appreciate you so much um, to create a piece that will make you wonder how old it really is. How old is this finish? I don't want it to look brand new. I don't want it to look like it's, you know, ancient. Well, I kind of do. I'm lying. I want it to be ancient. Um, thank you for voting, Stacy. To all those who donated to shipping, you're amazing. Uh, yep, you are. And I appreciate you all so much. Anything for the gram. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great night. Uh, what? Oh, you had one question. Yeah, it, it happened earlier on the Facebooks. A uh, lady would like to kind of see the brush that you use to wax with and talk about that for just a minute. Right. And the process of do you, do you do it really hard? Do you do it soft as far as the. So, DIY wax, this is all that I use. It's very soft, it's like a heavy moisturizer cream. Anybody use Noxzema when they were younger or still use it? Right here. Hands up. Thank you, Patty. Mwah. I appreciate you. Um, anybody use Noxzema in the tub? Scoop out. All right. That's the same consistency of our waxes. So a lot of waxes that I used before I found this were kind of thick. So I'd have to get my brush and kind of like chip it off and stuff. And it just, it wouldn't go on smoothly. Well, this is totally different. Um, love me some more Matt. He's Aaron. Hey. <laughs> he likes hearing that. DM me. <laughs> <laughs> That's just for you, Aaron. Right there, girl. Um, so um, it goes on so smooth. And so this brush is actually the DIY paint. So it's part of this paint collection. It's their brush. It's a synthetic brush. Um, what makes it a great wax brush is the flat on the finish. So it's not thin, it's round and it's flat. Um, paint Pixie makes also a shorter one if you prefer a shorter handle. Thank you, Terry. I appreciate you. <laughs> Dana says, LOL, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Go get some rest, Dion and Matt. You've had a long, busy day. We really have, Derek. Oh, it's been... Derek's it's been in the busy. house. I love the smell of Noxzema too, Karen, and I used it. So that's why I'm saying it's that same consistency. Um, and it leave, you can put it on the back of your hand and it, it's, it's wax. It's beeswax. It's perfect. Uh, thank you for voting. Um, so hopefully I answered your question. I don't have to apply it very, by very hard um, because it is so soft and a little goes a long way. So if you wanted to put more than one coat, say you were doing the top of a piece, you could buff it after 24 hours and then go in and put a second coat and buff that as well. For this entire front, nothing's going to be setting on it. And so one coat is going to be plenty. All right. So I will just uh, buff it tomorrow. We will get it on that staging wall in there in the other room and post some pictures of it. And then we'll be back Sunday, uh, 830 central time to announce the winner. I have a huge surprise for you on Sunday. Besides that, Matt, do you remember who's coming on with us live I do. Sunday? Shh, don't say anything. No, we have to tell them. Not yet. Why? I want them to know. Okay, go ahead. Gavin's coming on. So Gavin has been following our page and loves to pop on here and say Miss Dion and Mr. Matt and say the nicest things to all of you. Now, is it just going to be on Facebook? Um, No. I can pull up Gavin on, both, okay. on both. he won't yeah. be on the gram, but he'll be on um, 
Yeah, you know, he'll be on YouTube and Facebook because as long as I use StreamYard, but yes, Gavin is coming on. His mom has agreed. We set a date a few weeks ago to come on. Um, it is full of surprises, but Gavin will be on. He's super excited, as you can imagine. He's going to show us some of his projects, and um, hopefully his mom, Michelle, will be on with him, or at least say hello. Um, so you guys have to tune in on Sunday. <laughs> We're going to announce the winner of this piece, and then Mr. Gavin's going to come on. Um, I may actually tell Gavin the winner and let him announce it. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll work that out. I'll work that out with his mama. Um, yeah, I don't know if he's on here right now. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen him no, comment. Seen. Um, but he will be, he is excited already. So I'm going to send a little message to him and make sure he's still good for Sunday. Um, and we'll roll out with that. So it's going to be amazing. I mean, he's just going to be, over there. it's going to make me laugh. <laughs> so y'all come say hello, 8.30 Central Time. Tomorrow is Thursday. I might be on. Could be on Friday. Could be on Friday at Probably 8.30. Probably Friday. We'll see. Do we have Games baseball? Friday night. We have baseball? Mm-hmm. Possibly. Maybe. I might not be on Friday, but I would like to come on Friday. Um, Saturday, we have two ball games. Sunday, we have ball games, but we will be here at 8.30. So either way, you might catch me in, but you might catch me before that. I'm ready to finger paint. Like, it's time, guys. It's time to get out another painting. It's time. It's time. You guys, I know. I can't wait to be Gavin. You guys are going to love him. When, yeah, you're going to love him. Everybody, have a wonderful end of your week. Um, make the best of it. Get out of here. Go be awesome. Do all the things. And you too, Mr. Woods. Hey, attitude is everything, so pick a good one. Pick a good one. That's his quote. See ya. <laughs> See ya, you guys. I mean, it's not his. Like, he's not the original person to say it. <laughs>